Hello, this is a Dainaman Grand Piano that's come into stock very recently and uh, it's in the, this church here uh, being used as a performance piano. Um, so it's been fully restored. It's built in 1962, nine foot long. It ha doesn't have a um, sostenuto pedal, but Dainaman made quite a few grand pianos uh, of this period and uh, they've made them to a high standard. Now the finish is matte black. Um, in the USA you quite find, find quite a few matte black modern pianos, but uh, generally in the UK they're shiny. Uh, but the finish works very well for a concert grand. And uh, this is the ivory keys we're looking at here. They are ivory. Uh, you can just about see the join between the back and the front of the ivory there. Very high quality ivory and in perfect condition. Now someone's kindly been keeping a tuning card here um, and it was tuned regularly by the first tuner, as you can see. And then uh, another tuner took over. That's uh, my name at the bottom there. Uh, pitch raised it. it. It had come in slightly below pitch. Now the piano has been fully restored in, I think, about 2005, 2006, and very well restored. Uh, I've now tuned the piano and the pitch raised it, which has allowed me to see that all the tuning pins are very tight, and, and the job's been very well done indeed. This is the frame of the piano, and the soundboard is in perfect condition. Uh, you'd expect that, it's a 1962 piano, so um, really you can expect the piano of that age not to have got any cracks in the soundboard. The older ones get cracks in the soundboard, which uh, we obviously we feel when we fully restore them and um, they're as good as new unless they've lost the down bearing. Now the strings on this piano, nine foot piano, are seven foot long roughly um, and very very rich toned as you can hear. It's a mellow sound this piano, very warm and very consistent throughout. Hammers are well voiced as well. We're going to do some fine voicing and some fine regulation today. And a good strong tone right up to the top. I'm just going to do some very fine regulation today, which is all that's really needed to do, and just some fine voicing. This is, uh, I'm pressing two hammers down, C and B, and if you watch them, one of them kicks back before the other. There we are and the C has been finely regulated. So it gets as close as you can, really. This is a set off, um, but it mustn't be too close for, it mustn't be so close that it double hits uh, or it stays on the string. So look at the two again and you can see, and that means we can play this one, C, slightly quieter than this one. It doesn't have, yes, there we are. It doesn't have the same control. So it's just fine regulation, really. The drop screw also needs regulating. If we play the C again, if we let it go, when, we, when it's in its waiting position, waiting to be played again, it's again very near the string. And look, at, look at the B, its waiting position is much lower down. Um, and that will definitely affect the repetition. The set off or let off is regulated by turning the capstans there. You can see we've got the tool for turning them in place. And the drop screw is this screw here, so that, again, with a small screwdriver, uh, we can adjust the drop screw so that it drops. Um, the set-off should be slightly closer, ideally maybe a sixteenth of an inch, but as close as you can get, which is still comfortable and still definitely comes away from the string. And then the drop screw a bit lower down. Now this is Schwander action as you get in a lot of English pianos. Nowadays, Schwander action, you won't see written on the piano. I don't think any pianos are made with that on it anymore. It's Renner um, that you'll see the name. And that, that, this, these are Renner hammers. I don't know if it'll say Renner here. Yes, it does, Louis Renner. And uh, that's hammer number 23. Now, it's really quite minimal wear, a little wear, um, but since the piano is reconditioned, I would say just very light voicing we want. I don't think we're going to reface this. Uh, because uh, I think it's not really necessary and it's not going to affect the tone sufficiently. Just fine voicing is what we're going to do. So that's a Deneman, or Daneman, not sure how you pronounce that, um, concert size grand, that's nine foot long. They made a few of them and uh, very high quality. It's 1960s is a good age for Daneman. There's quite a few pianos of that age um, in the UK still. Uh, it made in the UK. And a 
very, very respectable concert brand. Very warm base. Now, the most important thing here is that this, the reconditioning has been done so that the hammers are quite heavy, or the weighting now is quite heavy, about 58 grams, 57, 58 grams, and uh, should be 52, really, 50 to 52. Um, the pianist who plays this regularly says that he is actually very pleased with the piano, li likes the touch, but another pianist who plays it said it's a bit heavy. Um, so that's obviously something that can be done. We can re-weight it and we can, we can take the weight down. Lovely tenor area. And singing treble generally. So it's certainly a piano that's uh, a pleasure to play and the weighting is the only question mark there. Uh, so if you're interested in this piano, it's, it's much less expensive than the German Grand, but I wouldn't say that much less quality. It's certainly a very stable piano as well. Thank you very much for listening.